guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today's a flick pick episode, and it's been a while since I've actually done a flick pick. So usually I choose movies that I've watched when I was a kid, or the, the movies that I watch over and over again, but periodically I catch a newer film, and I like to just talk about it, because it's something that was really interesting to me, and I thought maybe it'd be nice to share, uh, or just give my opinion on it. Anyways, this movie is a sequel to another movie that I really enjoyed, and that was Super Size Me, uh, made by uh, film director Morgan Spurlock. And it's more of a documentary. It's not really a movie, per se, because it's not acting. It's, it's really just a documentary. The original Super Size Me was obviously the McDonald's thing, where Morgan Spurlock goes on this, you know, challenge, or I guess not really a challenge, but just, just to show what happens if a person were to eat like nothing but fast food for 30 days and of course he chose McDonald's and um, and anybody that's seen this probably thought twice afterwards about actually going out to fast food now of course everything is is you know good in moderation and uh, he kinda does discuss that in the film so and of course you know during the film he actually did kind of you know did some damage to his body he actually did gain some weight and uh, his doctor was saying, you know, he was kind of sick, but, you know, after the 30 days, he went on a whole detox thing, had to lose all the weight, and, and went back to normal life. Um, so, now, you know, that movie was 2004, so 2020 here, and uh, I don't know if this is exactly when he filmed it, I, I, I didn't check the date on this one, but anyways, um, you know, it, it is, you know, some good time later. And he's starting to realize that nothing really changed. I mean, the, the food industry is still there. McDonald's is still there. Everything is still there. Now, obviously, they're not going to go away. Um, but not a lot has changed. And what he has noticed is that there has been a slight shift in their menu items, but not enough to actually say, you know, uh, it's, it's really doing anything. And so he decided, you know, rather than try and do the same thing, as in, you know, go on an all-fast-food diet, trying to show people what they've done, he, he goes a little bit deeper in this one and says, you know what, I'm going to go on through the inside. I'm going to create my own fast food restaurant. I'm going to see what happens and um, what what the kind of goings on are and the, the hurdles and the, 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 you know, what you have to go through to, to actually get this food out there and to get people to buy it because it really just comes down to marketing at this point. And the thing I like about this movie is how he discovers that you know not a lot has actually changed just the way they kind of advertise the food and you know I I kind of thought of this myself I I used to work in a Wendy's when I was younger and uh, you know for quite a while actually worked there and I saw like different products come and go I saw the shift you know when it started to become everything had to be healthy we started getting in salads and all that stuff and well, they've always had salads, but I mean more salads, more healthier options. But what you'll notice is a lot of those options will kind of die off or they disappear because people don't buy them enough. And in the end, people are really just buying the stuff they really want. They go to these restaurants, they go to McDonald's to get a Big Mac. They, they're going to get their food. And so um, really what he does is he looks into the industry itself and then he thinks, well, what if I were to try and do it honestly? What if I were to try and create something that you know people come in and they're they're be, we're not lying to you we're gonna tell you what's in this food we're gonna tell you this but we're also gonna use the same kind of tricks that the restaurants use uh, like for instance uh, his his uh, choice of food for this one is chicken and of course he has to come up with a good delicious uh, chicken sandwich uh, that will sell to the masses taste good but also somewhat be you know, healthy, healthier for you. And so he goes through these processes of, you know, what's the healthiest kind of chicken? Well, it's obviously grilled chicken, but grilled chicken doesn't taste good. So crispy chicken. And then how could we make crispy chicken good? Uh, they come up with a really ridiculous concept of a grilled crispy chicken or whatever like that. So in other words, it's a crispy chicken that's grilled. It's kind of an illusion. And I thought that that was kind of interesting. And there's even some parts where he actually shows them modifying and painting on the, the grill lines to really just fool people into to thinking that this is grilled and it's it's better for you. But he goes beyond that. He actually wants to start this whole thing as I'm going to grow my own chickens. I'm going to start off. I'm going to get my chickens 
from day one. I'm going to grow them. I'm going to, uh, you know, go through the whole process of, of the farming aspect. And that's where the movie really gets interesting because then he starts to dive into the world that he labels as big chicken. Kind of like big pharma for the pharmacies, but this is the chicken industry. And you actually start to learn a lot of stuff that you probably never knew about how chickens were farmed, the kind of politics the farmers go through, all of that interesting stuff, even even just the thought that the idea of free range chickens, uh, he even shows uh, the little fenced out area because he looks into what is, um, you know, what is it definition of a free range chicken. And it, and it turns out it doesn't doesn't really, you know, you don't have to have a lot of space to, to consider it to be a free range chicken. And so he actually shows himself inside the cage and he's like, you know, this is this is the little bit of area. That's all they have to be exposed to the outside elements and it's enough to call it free range. So I thought that that was interesting how there's all these little pieces of, of information that he had to learn from day one to try and get this, you know, chicken restaurant off the ground. Anyways, by by the end of the, the story, the, the movie, the documentary, whatever you want to call it, uh, he gets into the next phase of, you know, now he has to build the building, which right away I noticed was a Wendy's and, you know, it popped up. He, they showed the uh, the outside of it. It was all stripped down and, and stuff. And I'm like, I, that looks like a Wendy's. And, and my wife's like, how do you know? And I'm like, because I've worked in a Wendy's. I know what they look like. And of course it was a Wendy's. So um, he's, he pretty get, gets his crew in there to strip it all down, paint it, comes up with a logo, comes up with a name comes up with with all the product and starts bringing the people in the door and as he said everything is on the walls everything is right there for people to read it to see it and uh, you know they're like oh this has this and this has this and and you know we're using these marketing techniques which give a lot of buzzwords that mean nothing so really interesting to see someone on like almost like on the inside doing something like that and I like how he just took a completely different spin because like he said in the beginning of the movie he could have just gone and done us an actual Super Size Me 2 where he goes back on the diet maybe picks another restaurant and goes through the same thing but would that be as impactful as coming up with a completely new concept and idea anyways yeah so this movie's on Netflix or sorry not Netflix YouTube um, so you could go and actually see it on YouTube and um, it's free with ads, so you can probably find it. Go into the search engine, hit uh, Super Size Me 2. You'll probably find it there. Uh, I literally just stumbled upon it. I didn't even know this movie even came out. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Go check out the movie. It's really cool if you're a fan of the first one. It's it's different. It's, it's much different than the first one. I really enjoyed the first one, but this one was really good too. It really opens your eyes. You know, you might even become vegetarian from this. I don't know. Uh, I still eat meat, but maybe you'll change your mind. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.